Okay, well, what we got here is, of course, a Zitagi B300P, manufactured in Italy. Not exactly what you would call a high-quality amplifier, but they're built to a budget, and, this, and nevertheless, it does do what it's supposed to do, which is amplify RF. Now, this uh, particular model is a later B300P, which was fitted with... SD1446 devices which were of course used to replace the discontinued Motorola MRF455s well it just so happens I have some MRF455s and that is what I am going to be using in this amp some have said the MRF455 is the better device but who knows anyway that's what I'll be using to repair this amp interestingly when we turn it over and look on the bottom you see this nice big bright label here interestingly it does say that the transistors in this device are not guaranteed input power should be no more than 5 watts AM FM on setting number 6 antenna must be able to handle 400 watts and you must operate it with an SWR of no more than 1 to 1.5 yes and I wonder how many people uh, stick to that eh see many of these with fried transistors in because they have been overdriven. too much power shoved into them it's not big and it's not clever but there we are anyway gonna get on and crack some new finals in this and give it a test and see if it works Okay, the uh, Satagi B300P is all back in one piece. I've fitted two new Motorola MRF455 devices. The original devices used in this amp were SD1446s, as this was a later model. Interestingly, the slots cut out in the board will accept even larger devices, which is something I'll be experimenting with later on. Looks to me as if possibly MRF421s or Toshiba 2SC2879s could be a possible fit. They will physically fit to the board, there's no problem. The slots are big enough to accept it on this later amp. And they are of course 100 watt devices and can take more drive. Now that will be something to experiment with later. Meanwhile the MRF455s are 60 watt uh, uh, continuous devices. They will give around about 90 watts PEP at 27 megs. Now I've set this amp up here. We've got uh, two cables here. There's one there coming round to the Revex power meter. The red one there goes directly to my IMX 2000 for this test as we're quite a lot of power. And the grey lead from the radio there comes round and goes into the other side of the amp underneath here. Now, I've set this major up to standard output for this amp recommended by the manufacturer, which is about 4 5 watts AM FM and around about 18 20 PEP SSB. And the Revex is set on the 200 watt power scale there, so we're on FM mode, channel 41, 27415 megs. So let's just check our output. And there we have on the Revex 20 watts. There we go, about 4 or 5 watts, just over 4 watts there. So we will now put that onto 200 watts. Amp on. And we're on setting number 1. Have a quick look. TX light on. Power supply humming there. Just put that on AM mode for this test. Power supply I'm using is a 32 amp PSU. It is running both the radio and the amplifier. Have a look on the Revex, and there we have on setting one 40 watts, on setting two 50 watts, setting three 60 just plus watts, setting four about 70, setting five about 80 just over. 
setting 6 which is the important setting you mustn't put more than about 5 watts in otherwise you're going to fry those transistors at 120 watts now that's about what I would expect to see from this amp they certainly don't do the power that Zatagi claim none of their stuff ever does so we'll now go down to setting 5 on there we'll go over to SSB mode let's just try AM actually out of interest audio about 55 60 carrier audio audio 130 140 swing USB flip that over to SSB setting number 5 have a look on the radio audio 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 on the power meter there on the 200 watt scale audio audio hitting there about 180 watts PEP now I'm not going to put it on setting 6 because it's probably too much input drive but that is about what I would expect to see from a B300P with good trannies in around about 180 200 watts PEP let's have another look audio 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 yeah new devices in working fine